No fab, day one. I'll be doing no fab for 30 days. The rules are simple. The first one to wank gay, which means I only get one shot. I'm not gonna watch anything and I'm not gonna touch myself anywhere. Why am I doing this? Well, apart from the fact that I busted eight nuts in one day and kept fighting until I couldn't do it anymore, there are, there are no other reasons why I'm fucking lying. That was a lie. After each time I nut, a part of my soul leaves. I don't get posted on clarity like everybody else. I get posted on darkness. There isn't a thing going on in my mind after I bust. And don't even get me started where I do that shit. I do it everywhere. Every single where at any time I will bust a nut. I even remember one time I busted a nut in the bus. There were people on the bus and I still did it. No shame and no lie. I was in the same bed with my grandmother. I do it at work, I do it at school, at the bar. Motherfucker, I remember one time I busted without even touching myself. And that happened when I was in the car with my brother, father, and mother. And that's why I'm doing it. Because I need to take back control over my life. Day one was pretty easy. The urges were only a few, and I resisted them quite easily without a second doubt. But I knew that this would not be easy in the long term, because the longer we go, the harder it's going to get. So that's why I came up with this plan, which allows me to make this so much easier. Get rid of all distractions and then focus on your hobbies. Just get something to do. What's your goal with this? You need to have something to look forward to. And most importantly, remember why you are doing this. All right, it's been a little bit more than a week now and the first few days they were really easy So that's why I'm not even gonna talk about them, but on day six something very unusual happened I thought I was having a heart attack. That was scarier than being jumped by 25 10 year olds But on the next day I realized it was just another dependency day seven was boring day eight I had my first wet dream and on day nine I was already on a dating app talking to different women day 13. I just wanted to give up. All right cut the bullshit on day 15 I gave up. But hear me out though, most people will never reach that 30 day mark. Going 15 days is like getting a free trial. You get the idea why people are doing this, but you don't know if you can pay the price. But if you can pay the price, then you get a surprise. What I learned from this is that you, you are definitely gonna change. You'll be more ambitious, more dedicated to your work, and on top of that, you're gonna go out and talk to people. The biggest downside of all of this is that every woman in your life will look like a 10 out of 10 to you, which is not what you want. Every now and then, I think you can jerk off, but just don't watch porn. That's the biggest no-no. Do not watch porn under any circumstances because it's gonna ruin your mind. And that's exactly where the problems come from, from your porn addiction. Watching porn is literally just like taking cocaine. By watching porn, your brain gets bombarded by too much dopamine. So that becomes your main pleasure. After reaching a high, you will also experience the low. And honestly, why would you spend so much energy just to talk to women if you can watch porn? Therefore, you have less incentives to go out and talk to women. And if you go way too far, then I really hope that it doesn't become your only hobby. I've done this before for 90 days and it was the best decision of my life. So I strongly encourage you to give it at least one try. Thanks for watching and see y'all at the top.